What is up, you guys? It is Wednesday. I thought I had another daughter pictures today, and I don't. So I'm rushing off the court to go to the gym because I thought I wasn't able to make it to the gym today. So yeah, thank God that I checked my calendar and I just have my um, cocktail oh, of cute. hang on. I have my cocktail of collagen, BCAAs, and glutamine. Um, yeah, so that's my cocktail as usual every day when I go work out. Um, put this seat belt on. Um, when we get to the gym, honey, I don't want you to drink it all and then not have any. <sighs> okay. So yeah, um, we are on our way to the gym. I'm going to work out for about an hour closely. And then, honestly, uh, I have a paint party tonight. Other than that, there's really not much going on. So I'm going to sit down and talk to you about how my first week of this cut is going. And yeah, keep in the loop. Guys, I don't know how she got a hold of my phone, but... I... Oh, now I can... Woo! Alright, hold my hands. Are we ready? Alright, let's go. Alright, what is up, guys? It is, um, now 10.41. I forgot today's Wednesday, which means it is toddler gym at my gym. So directly when I got done working out, we went downstairs and let the kids play. And then um, I'm starving. I have not ate yet. I have fasted all morning. I really enjoy intermittent fasting um, just because it allows me to eat more at the end of the day. And I honestly don't need it in the morning because I do eat so late at night. Uh, just for preference. So um, no other reason than that, really. I don't really like not my glucose levels or anything like that I don't track it for that reason um, but anyway so I'm gonna go home and make my first meal and um, the kids are gonna eat lunch and all that good stuff like I said today there's really not much to do I just wanted to check in because I am vlogging today and um, yeah so that's about it and I need more coffee <laughs> Definitely need more coffee. <laughs> oh, I did legs today and my legs are killing me. I just did, um, I didn't do like a specific workout because the gym was so busy. There was no machine available. I actually went in to do shoulders, but there was no machine available for me. The gym I go to is fairly <laughs> small. Um, and that's not the gym I would love to go to. In fact, there's not a gym in my town that I even like. Um, eventually, the goal is to open my own gym. And I will manifest that till the day that it is done. But until then, I have to do with what I got. And this is the only one that has a daycare. So I have to go here. And I make do with what I got. So I did leg day. And um, I just did like reps. As many reps as I could, and then when my body couldn't do, I did adductors and abductors, and I did as many as I could till my body couldn't do it, lowered the weight, did it again, till my body couldn't do it, lowered the weight, until I just was done. Then I um, burned out with um, pause squats, and then I did, um, what did I do? Lunges, I did um, standing lunges, and then... Yeah, that was it, and my legs are jello. So, a good workout does not have to be Wait, all these different reps and sets as long as you're getting something done. What? I do have jello. Let's go show them what we made, what mommy made you. We have a surprise. Um, jello. I bought this little kit for like $3 at Walmart, but it's got gorillas, um, yeah, frogs. Let's see, elephant. Is that an elephant? No, that's the tiger. And then there's the elephant. So I made him some jello. And then I'm going to, so what I suggest that you do is the night before, or you could do it like for a whole week if you wanted to, if you meal prep, but the night before I sit down, like at night, I sit down and I kind of think about what tomorrow's plans are and how um, my scheduled eating will be and what I need to eat and how I need to eat it, whatever. So what I did was for breakfast, which is going to be now at 10.50 um, for me, is going to be a total of 440 calories. It's going to be egg whites, 
peanut butter fit. I'm going to do it on a flatbread. And then I had this in my coffee, creamer and coffee. I did not have any of that. Just had this in my coffee. So yeah, I'm going to make this like egg white peanut butter sandwich thing. Um, and then for lunch, it's over oven roasted turkey, two pieces of bread, and um, laughing cow cheese. Now, I'll probably eat this close back to back because I am so hungry. But I'm going to go ahead and make this real quick and show you how I do it. Okay, so I've just put 32 grams of the PB Fit on one of these little flatbread sandwich things. And then I'm going to, when the egg whites are done, throw it on here, make a little sandwich. Uh, the macros for this breakfast, well, including the creamer, is um, 33 carbs, 52 protein, and 8 fat. This is the finished product. It's a big egg white. Oh, it's steamy. Whew. This big egg white sandwich. From the Starbucks, how can we help you? Yeah, can I get a grande americano and a venti ice water, please? Yeah, anything else today? Nope, that's it. All right, 350, thank you. I got a coffee, I had to run to the ATM and get cash out, because I have a paint party tonight. And then I'm eating my second meal, it's one of these snap bars. Um, I tried them a week ago. And this one's really good. It's like the peanut butter cup. My kids always want them. Really good. How much fun uh, watercoloring is. Like, yeah, Charlie just wants to paint with water, which is totally fine. She doesn't quite grasp the concept yet, but careful, don't spill your water. Yeah, very pretty. Very pretty. Okay. You got a lot of paint on that one. Keep using it. You got a lot of paint left in there still. Yep. This is going to be um, slime. Like Play-Doh. Oh, cool. And we're going to put all of it on you like butter. Like butter. <laughs> okay, cool. So I didn't want this video to be about nothing. I kind of want this to be like an introductory for you guys on um, like counting macros and how to get started and how, because um, I have been loosely, um, I have been honestly just intuitively eating, kind of knowing what my body can handle, how much is too much for me, um, that kind of thing, what I know will make me full, what, what I know will keep me full, those kinds of things. And now I'm starting to track again um, because I have eight weeks of until I have a photo shoot for my website and all of that, my programs and things like that. So I have a photo shoot coming up, which eight weeks seems like a ways away, but it's really not that far away. I am burning up right now. What I want to tell you guys was when you start tracking, don't obsess over it. Basically, try and hit your macros the best you can. What you don't want to do is hit your macros for five days of the week, Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday come around, and then you're like, eh. I'll just track again on Monday. That is not going to get you the results you want. If you're tracking for the first five days of the week and then weekend rolls around and you untrack and you think you kind of know what you're eating but you really don't and you're not used to tracking macros, it's going to throw the whole week next week off for you. So what I suggest you do is track 24-7, try and hit them the best you can. There are, there are going to be days when it's harder, there's going to be days when you just can't, there's going to be days when, especially if you have kids, if you're a mom, if you're a dad, whatever, it's going to be hard. Um, just try your best. Think, eat mindfully, eat strict, not restricted, that's my number one saying. Um, when intuitive eating, tracking macros leads to intuitive, intuitive eating, it teaches you a habit, it teaches you how to portion out your meals and sizes and of food and when you're so used to weighing out the food you kind of know the amount of food and things like that then you don't have to track to the gram so that helps when you want to stop tracking a certain macro and just kind of eat intuitively and kind of know your body you're at a good point where you want to stay body weight wise and um, physique wise and then you can kind of just eat mindfully that's what I've been doing for a while it's kept me in between 135 and 142 that's just where my body weight ranges depending on water and 
um, that time of the month and things like that. So I fluctuate from there. Even after having kids coming back from intuitive eating, not even tracking, that's just kind of where my body's at. So I know when I'm overeating, when I'm under eating, that kind of thing. Um, you can too. That's what I'm going to be here for. That's why I want to be your coach. I want to teach you how to do all these things. But on today's video, I just wanted to tell you guys, like, don't overthink it. Just try and hit it the best you can. Um, yesterday at the gym, I have, to, I have to go to a certain gym because my kids have daycare there. So they didn't have um, daycare for my kids. So I couldn't go work out because it was voting, um, the mayoral vote. Threw me off a day. I didn't think today I was going to be able to work out because I was supposed to have mother-daughter pictures. I messed up and got the date wrong. So I got my butt to the gym when I found out. Got it done. It was a great, great leg day. Um, tomorrow is my pre or my daughter's preschool screening. Um, so I can't go to the gym because it's at the time that the gym is open for her to go to daycare. Which is fine. I will still track macros. I won't be thrown off. I won't obsess over missing a workout. It's totally fine. I'm not going to cut calories in half because I didn't work out. No. Your body needs the fuel. Your body needs rest. It is completely fine. Will I kill it in the gym on Friday? Yes. I will go in, work extra hard, use all of the food that fueled me yesterday for or Thursday for my workout on Friday. But that's just my two cents, guys. What is up? This week-long vlog is just going to be crazy. I'm sorry it's been like such a random put-together vlog. I just haven't honestly done anything crazy this week. Um, I've gotten the house all put together and we played outside a lot. Yeah, so um, we did some spring cleaning this weekend. But anyways, I'm going to finish this vlog up today with... Yeah, whatever it says right here because I can't say it right now. I have day old coffee I just warmed up I'm drinking we're getting ready to go meet my sister-in-law over at Walmart we're gonna go grocery shopping that's where you're gonna go see Oliver and yeah so we're gonna get the diaper bag packed and ready to go and we're gonna head out so we'll see you guys in a little bit I have matching ones just like mine but they're pink they will be wearing these today so whenever we get ourselves all of us dressed because not all of us are all the way dressed yet I gotta do hair and everything else but um, yeah I'll show you what theirs looks like I love them. They're comfy. They're probably my new, um, my new favoriteest shoe. You can't. Here's the girls' shoes. Come here. They are like a shade of pink. They're like a light pink. And then mine are like more of a white, if you can tell the difference. Here, stand by me. Put your feet by mine. Try to get them. So we all have matching shoes. We got this up, guys. I'm about to put the together and I wanted to bring you along. I can't really say that because I have another kid in the room in the other room with her headphones on on her tablet um, and one's napping but we're working with what we have to work with today. Um, so yeah I'm gonna put I'm gonna show you how I put mine together and kind of how I have saved things throughout the since Christmas really on clearance and everything else. Um, I always if I see a five dollar item couple dollar item I'll throw it in the cart and then when I bring it home I stash it away and then that way Easter and Christmas time um, I can just put things together and not have to spend a bunch of money on it and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you what I've got. Just a quick overview of everything. Um, sometimes I get like doubles or look alike. Sometimes I don't. Um, I did not find Easter baskets this year that I liked. So I went ahead and just gra just used the ones from last year. Um, and I will be on the hunt this year for throughout the year for something for them. So um, some of these are each like together. Some are separate. So let's just put them together real quick. Got it the girls each a blanket. So this one I got from TJ Maxx for $6.99. It's a cute little, real soft. This one I got Walmart for um, $9. Super soft. We love these blankets. So this one is for Charlie. I'm going to go ahead and actually make this one Charlie's basket. So let me go ahead and just kind of make this the filler. Same way, oh, that one's not gonna work. Just kidding, this one's gonna be the oldest. This one's gonna be Grizzlies, maybe. And then they each got, um, on the Disney app, this is the Zootopia um, pajamas, which I thought was very fitting for Easter. Um, very cute, so they each got one of these. I think I paid like six bucks for these on clearance, originally 20, so 
And then I got these. These were like a couple dollars um, at Walmart. It's just a little Moana necklace and Elsa necklace. They have like a little... They can make them. And then I picked... These were like $3.99 or $5.99 I think on the Disney on clearance. So I grabbed these, which I thought was perfect for spring and Easter. Um, this one's Charlie's, this one's Gracely's. And then I got this for Charlie. It's an indestructible book. It's called The Indestructibles. Um, you can't you can't hurt the book. And I got it on Amazon for like $5.99. I cannot wait to get this order. There's been so many times I've wanted to give it to her already. So um, depending on how well this goes over, I will probably get more. This one just has like the different colors of food and stuff. So that was pretty cool. And I got them each a little bunny bowl. They were th um, two for three dollars at Target dollar spot. And then I got Gracely, this movie. This was $5 and it's a digital, so I got this. Um, this was $5. This one was, um, this I got at Disney when we were in Disney. I just grabbed, um, we didn't have this Mickey, so I grabbed this. And then I got this Frozen cup at TJ Maxx for... $9.99 and then I got this for like $10 or $12. It's a little globe um, cup from the Disney store. It's also frozen and it's like this. I thought this was so cute. I've had this, I had my eye on this for a long time. This hat for Charlie, and then I got this bow for Gracely. This bow is um, from Walmart for like two dollars, and this was three dollars at the Target dollar spot. Target had toothbrushes on clearance, so this one was four dollars. This one was three dollars. This one, this was two dollars. This was toothpaste. And then for candy, um, Pez. String. This was two dollars at the dollar spot. These were ninety-eight cents at Walmart. Just little lip pops. And then I have one, two, three. So they have five each of these and one each of these.
Okay, so that is their basket. I just put the little bow right here and the hat on top. It's kind of overflowing. I don't think it's too much. It's not overkill. It didn't cost me a fortune. I got everything on clearance. And then this is where I get a little overboard, but these were from TJ Maxx for $4.99 and they have the holder on them so I can use them. So I was sold. <laughs> um, they, that's going to be a together gift. And then um, they have been dying to have the airplane. And so it was on clearance for $16 instead of $20. So I grabbed it and got these um, so they can share. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of put those out in the morning or on the Easter morning. And yeah, I hope you um, liked this. Um, give it a like. Let me know what you guys put in your Easter baskets. I love seeing what everybody else puts in their Easter baskets. I think it's so cool. But I love getting all my stuff on clearance and then just throwing it in the basket, forgetting what I had even gotten. Um, so yeah, give it a thumbs up. Go follow me on Instagram. Love you guys.